Hi, it's Taylor T. Carlson. I'm here with another video for you. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of my personal favorite 80s comedies, Weird Science. This film had been released on Blu-ray by Universal a few years prior, but it's recently got the special edition treatment from Arrow. Arrow is quickly becoming one of my favorite companies for remasters and reissues of older films, and as you'll quickly see, this release of Weird Science pretty much sums up all those reasons. For those of you who aren't familiar, Weird Science is the story of two geeks who are constantly bullied in school and have no luck with the ladies. And these two, to try to learn more about the fairer sex, they get onto their computer and they make a virtual woman they can try to ask questions to and learn from. However, a freak storm and a result of the boys hacking on their computer basically results in her coming to life, and she ends up being their dream come true in many, many ways. However, they still remain the same two geeky boys they've always been, and she tries to set a few trials in place so that they can gain their confidence and become better people. And over the course of the movie, we essentially see this start to happen, and everything finally falls into place. The movie was directed by John Hughes, probably best known for The Breakfast Club and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The movie stars Anthony Michael Hall, Kelly LeBrock, and Elon Mitchell Smith. The film also co-stars the late Bill Paxton and, in one of his first major feature film roles, Robert Downey Jr., who of course would go on to play Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. How does the movie hold up three plus decades later? I wouldn't say this is necessarily one of John Hughes's best films. I mean, it's definitely beaten out by the likes of Ferris Bueller and The Breakfast Club, but I like the fact that he tried something a little different here. The movie has a light sci-fi element to it, which John Hughes never really attempted again. It's perfectly cast. You got the two geeks, you got a beautiful woman, and the supporting parts by Bill Paxton and Robert Downey Jr. as bullies are absolutely hilarious. The film has aged surprisingly well for the most part. There's always going to be a few elements that look very dated when you're looking at it three decades on, like some of the really primitive 3D computer animation and special effects haven't exactly held up too super well. But it's a movie that's great because of the chemistry of its actors, the overall storyline, the outcome, the journey there is just a lot of fun. There are admittedly a few scenes that would be considered politically incorrect to today's audiences, but honestly, I just ran with it and I had a great time revisiting the movie, and it's a comedy. I mean, you've got to be prepared to you know, be a little offended in places and have a good time throughout. I certainly did. The movie was fairly popular and successful, and it actually inspired a television series on the USA Network, which ran for several years. I've never actually seen any episodes of that, but when I was doing research for this review, I was reminded of that, so I thought it's something I should probably bring up here, you know, just for the curious. As I previously stated, it was Arrow Video who did this remastered reissue of the film, and... These guys have been reissuing and remastering stuff left and right, and so far I'm very pleased with their efforts. They've also put out reissues for movies like the Sister Street Fighter series, Waterworld, and The Andromeda Strain. So, nice assortment of films there, and the remaster that they did on Weird Science here actually looks very good. I don't have the older Blu-ray, so I can't compare, but... From what I've read, this is a little more filmic looking, it's a much more natural looking transfer, and given the source material and the age of the film, it looks very good. There are a few moments that don't look the best, largely as a result of the special effects of the era, which do look a little dated. Again, that's not too surprising and was totally expected. Of course, the Steelbook package looks absolutely fantastic. These guys, they always go the extra mile on their reissues. I don't know why they don't release more Steelbooks of their content, because this one looks fantastic. In addition to the fine job on the Steelbook packaging, there are plenty of new bonus features, the majority of which are interviews with cast and crew. And these are really interesting to watch. They open up 
a lot of things you might not have known about the making of the original film. I mean, you've got everyone from John Kapalos, who played a bit part as a club owner. He was also in John Hughes' Breakfast Club. And then there's other cast and crew members, including the people who made the Chet Jabba the Hutt style puppet you see later in the movie. That should show just how in-depth these features go. There are also older archival bonus features from earlier releases of the film on DVD and Blu-ray, so it's a pretty complete package. I should probably also note that the movie on this disc does include, in addition to the theatrical version, an extended version which runs about two minutes extra with some added and deleted scenes. I believe you can also view those separately on the disc. And also an edited for TV version which has a few scenes that are slightly different as a result. You'll definitely want to watch everything on here at least once. Revisiting Weird Science is definitely a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite 80s comedies, definitely one of the lesser known gems in the John Hughes catalog, but definitely something unique which stands on its own. If you're a fan of John Hughes, you're a fan of 80s comedies, you're a fan of sci-fi, regardless of who you are, I think you'll find something to like about this movie. If you enjoyed this review, go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button as well, and I will see you on my next video. This has been Taylor T. Carlson.